The biggest myth of all of these financial things is that it's too difficult for you to learn, that it's filled with buzzwords. The goal of this session is to make you believe first that it's very understandable, because it is. The second, that it's very usable, because it is. Third, it's a career builder, because the more you connect what you do to the financial success of the organization, the greater is their career success. What kind of cash flow can I get by buying two companies for 25 million each? As someone who, you know, didn't go to business school, but, you know, sort of has dabbled in a little bit of this just from working at Dow Jones and other companies, having some real world examples was very valuable. I have financial clients. I speak with them all the time. And there are so many situations where this would have helped. It's basically like a one semester course on financial statement analysis in three hours. A common misconception among media professionals is that they don't need to know this information. That it's easier for them just to leave it to the chief financial officer to do the right thing. Some of what you can learn includes financial statements, the balance sheet, income statement, and cash flow statements, and how to read and understand each one. Ways that companies hide information in their financial statements and what you can do to suss that information out. Ways to value a company, how the buyer and seller see it differently. How financial people see the work that you and your company do differently from the way that you may see it. How collecting on your invoices just one day faster can mean thousands or even millions of dollars over the course of a year, and much, much more. If I'm talking to someone, I'm now able to see what he or she is thinking about in terms of implications of certain decisions vis-a-vis -vis cash flows or otherwise. It's the rigor that we don't have, we don't take the time to do in the course of the day of trying to get your day job done. But if you do take the time to do it, then you can be smarter about what decisions you make. When you watch this video, you will not only understand the premise of the whole subject, but you'll know how to do it. You will know how to analyze your business its profitability, its financial health, its ability to collect its money from its customers, and you'll be able to compare your business to the businesses of your peers. Being on the sales business development side, a lot of times you're trying to justify expenditures or justify the fact that you have actually have a profitable business even though it doesn't seem like it on paper. And these numbers provide a lot of the I think the real world answers that a CFO asks all the time. Next time I speak with a finance person, I know how to put a little squeeze on and impress them.